The word of God is light. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. Join God's servant, Apostle Jonathan Shokonya of Family Worship Experience International as we journey into the reality of kingdom truth. from the depths of your heart. Listen, whether you are inside, you are outside, you are following online, if you feel like lifting your hands, listen, if you feel like appreciating him in your language, if you feel like talking to him in your dialect, let him just understand what you are saying. Whichever way you feel like, listen, how many of you know that many died 31st? Yes. Yes. And I'm not even saying this to hype you, but you know many did not cross over. Maybe you are thinking and saying the thing you wanted to have last year didn't just come and I'm feeling discouraged. That your life means God is not done with you. For me, that's enough evidence that God is still at work. So you're going to give God a very unique praise. I don't know how you plan to do it, but you will give God praise. Hallelujah. Listen. If you feel like kneeling, lying, sitting, raising your hands, you feel like jumping, you feel like running around, just take out the next two, three minutes. While these guys help us, take out three minutes. Just go ahead, bless the name of the Lord. Tell him, Lord, I'm grateful. Tell him, Lord, I'm grateful. I'm excited. Thank you for the things you've done. Thank you for bringing me into this new year. Come on, go ahead, lift your voice. Lift your voice, bless him. Come on, are you doing that? Give God praise all around this building. Double floor, give God praise. Come on, thank him from the depths of your heart. Do that from the depths of your heart. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Last year we saw your goodness. We saw your preservation. Come on, are you giving God praise? Thank him on behalf of your family. Thank you for your parents. Thank you for your wife, for your children. Thank you for your husband, for your job. Thank you for your ministry. Thank you for the influence. Thank you for the finances. For the favors you experience. For the relationships. Come and give God praise. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. For long as I live, I am breathing now. this house. I will not be silent. I will not be You did in 2020, and now we are in 2021. 
now we can see testimonies all around already. set to do mighty things and indeed is our year of establishment we bless and honor you in jesus mighty name what is this year come on say it louder is our year of establishment can you give the lord a shout of praise hallelujah all right please be seated in god's presence be seated I'm so excited tonight. Glory. Glory. All right, let me share a few things with you. Um, there are a lot of things the Lord showed me. But um, let me share the one that concerns us, especially this house, a few things. And they are prophetic for you. So as you note them down, believe them, activate them, and then be expectant. Amen. The 
this year is our year of establishment. I say it again, it's our year of establishment. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll put you in front. Front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll put you in front. In front of my destiny. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Number one, a lot of young people are going to own landed properties this year. I want you to believe it. Listen, you are not rich, no matter what you have, until you own a land. And I saw a lot of young people owning landed properties this year. For many of you, it will come as a miracle. It's not something you expected. For many of you, what you have saved is not even enough to get a land. But someone will come to you and tell you, I have a land. These things will happen in 2021. And for many, they will even start building their houses. Unapplied jobs. Jobs like the testimony of that dear lady. Everything that happened today was a confirmation to the drama of these dear people. Unexpected, unapplied jobs. You won't even know how it happened. For many of you, this will happen January. Believe it. Believe it. Number three. I saw multiplied streams of income. Multiplied streams. For many of you, only have one source of income. There is only one thing you do that brings money. I saw multiplied streams of income. Many businesses started. You write it down and mark the word of the Lord. These are the th things the Lord shared with me that will happen to us as a house, as a family. So whether you are following from every part of the world, this is part, this is this is for you also. Multiplied streams of income. There are a lot of you already, you have one stream, you have two streams. So many of us don't even have any stream of income. You are living purely on those. This year, you will step into a realm of multiplied incomes i mean they will come from different apart from what you receive as favor from god predictable income you know that this one will bring something at the end of the day so many businesses will kick start and a lot more will be expanded last year i told you there will be marriages but what i saw this year was multiple marriages That in some families, more than two, three marriages will happen in one year. Believe it. Believe it. And if he is not taking the one prophesying himself, <laughs> we'll key into it. <laughs> Spoken tongues, this guy. All right, please be seated. Please be seated. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling you, believe this. Believe this. Listen, and I saw a lot of cars park this year. Many of you will come to meetings with your cars. Believe it. You will come to meetings with your cars. 
believe the word of the Lord, I'm telling you, this has nothing to do with age. Believe me. For many of you, you are thinking I'm just 25. What's the meaning of that? There are people 21 driving their cars. Listen. When God has prepared you by his word, there is nothing he can give you. It's a matter of trust. If the word of God has built you to a point God can trust you, there is nothing he can give you. For many of you this year, you will drive your cars. Believe it. Believe it. How can these things be? He said the Holy Ghost will come upon you. It's not by power. It's not by might. But by my spirit. Say the Lord. By my spirit. You won't accomplish this by the arms of flesh. For many of you, it is favor that will carry it and bring it to your doorstep. Believe it. Believe it. And for the first time, many will receive or will see the account balance in five zeros. For the first time in six zeros. And for the first time in seven zeros. Believe this. This year, some of you will be so established in finance that at the end of the year you'll be asking what do you still want me to do before the end of this year believe it many of you have never had in your account anything up to five zeros mark my word this year many of you have seen five zeros you're about to step into a realm of six zeros i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you real financial establishment many will get admission but the most interesting thing the lord told me is that a lot of us will school on scholarships <laughs> believe me for many you are you are trusting god for admission you don't even know who is going to sponsor you you are just writing the jam by faith go ahead and write the jam people have told you you don't have to write jam because there is no one come on now the word of god has come to you go ahead write the jam for many of you will go to school on scholarship you will do your masters on scholarship you will graduate scholarship believe it believe it there are three particular persons that have given up on school you've given up completely on school but i see you in school this year believe it i see you in school someone wrote jam your cut off mark was not up to but i'm still seeing you in school I don't even know how this is going to happen, but I'm seeing you in school. Write these things down. Write them down. There will be a massive harvest of souls. This one now is not just family worship. I saw it globally. Globally. Many ministries that are truly committed to kingdom advancement will experience expansion massive harvest of souls massive harvest of souls in one meeting you will see tens and hundreds coming to the Lord I want everyone this year to be committed to this because some of you in your neighborhood people will come to you you have not preached to them they will meet you and say I want to give my life to Christ no, it, it, it's time. I'm tired of this life. And each time I look at you, I know you carry something. I want to give my life to Christ. Accelerated harvest of souls. It will happen everywhere around this nation. Everywhere around Africa and the world. Unexpected people will come to the Lord. Believe it. Famous secular guys, you will hear the testimonies. Many of them will drop whatever it is and come to the Lord this year. This year. And for us as a ministry, we will be committed to that. You will see some of your loved ones that you think can never give their life to Christ coming to the Lord. Addictions of smoking, drunkenness will literally be broken. I'm telling you, this year, we are going to see massive and terrible things in righteousness. In this house precisely, because I saw a revival in this territory. I saw a revival and I told you it's not yet revival if people are only leaving one church to the other. It is revival when people come from the streets. Huh? 
it is called revolving when we leave one church to another it's revolving it's not revival true revival is when hardened criminals leave the street and come to the church it's when people come with charms and say enough of this it's when your loved ones that people have given up on come to the lord and you are amazed this will happen this year it will happen and as a house we are in for expansion this year I saw that this overflow was filled. People were sitting here and on this street again. It will happen this year. This year. Not next year. So that when it's fulfilled, you should know that the Lord told us before it happened. And if you are connected to this ministry as a minister, you are going back to see same results. No, believe it. Same results. Same results. I saw this and the Lord told me this is not just for us. Is a global thing, an outbreak of the supernatural, an outbreak of the supernatural, an outbreak. If you like, you can call it the year of the supernatural. It's an outbreak of the supernatural. For many of you, terrible things in righteousness will happen through your hands. I'm telling you, for many of you, you will enter a meeting thinking it's a normal meeting. And what will happen in that meeting, you won't recover from it. For many of you, it will be a prayer meeting. You will enter and wonders. For many of you, you are even a worshiper. You will enter a meeting and hold a mic. And the last thing you will remember is that you collected that mic. I'm telling you, an accelerated dimension of the supernatural. In miracles, in healings, in signs, and in wonders. You will see people that just get born again in three months already walking in dimensions of graces. Don't trouble yourself. We live in the end, end of the age. And these things will have to happen. They will have to happen. For those of you who have been born again for a long time, you've been loving the Lord for a long time, please let your heart be open to the Lord. Let your heart be open. Be ready for the supernatural. You can disappear this year. Believe it. You can lay hands on people who don't have hands and hands will grow this year accelerated dimension of the supernatural believe protocols will be broken literally protocols for our sake protocols will be broken yeah like I told you someone is getting admission and the cut off mark is not even up to I'm wondering somebody would have been saying how can these things be you wait and see when that happened to you come and share the testimony because this is happening how you will go to school, only God knows. For some of you, you will go to school, your jam will not even be needed. <laughs> I'm telling you this. Don't be scared this year to dare God. Huh? It's the year of the supernatural. Don't be scared to dare God. No, don't be scared. You enter a family and everybody is complaining. Tell them, um, that's why God sent me. I don't even know why I came into this family. I'm here today. And in the name of Jesus, the word of God is on this house. Things must turn around. This is that year. Where through your hands, God will do mighty things. Through your hands, miracles, wonders. Hmm. And the Lord told me a lot of us will be establishing our giftings this year. Romans 1 11. You will be established in your giftings. Some of you are gifted in the healing anointing, but something will happen. There will be an acceleration. For I long to see you that I might impart to you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established. And as a ministry, we are going to be committed. To all the things we've been doing, teaching, preaching, building God's people, praying for the sick, trusting God for miracles, especially in our miracle services, and then as usual, give opportunities to thousands to be saved. But this year, get ready. Many of you will literally walk in the spirit. 
literally walk in the spirit and the gift of the spirit in your life will be heightened will be heightened will be heightened lift your voice pray in tongues for two minutes say lord i've heard your word and i believe it i've heard your word all round establishment 2021 all round establishment all round establishment all round establishment come on go ahead are you praying one more minute pray Go ahead, are you praying? So take it by Rataka Basila Bratish. The one I love is ever before me, and he sits upon my heart. I live for the one I love. The one I love is ever before me and he seals upon my heart I live for the one I love the one I love is ever, ever before me he seals upon my heart I One more time, the one I love. The one I love is ever before me, filled upon my heart. I live for the one I live for the one I love. All right, please be seated for a few minutes. Let's get into the word of God, even if it's 30 or 35 minutes, and let's trust God to. Second Chronicles 2020. Let's examine a few of our scriptures. Is our season of all round establishment. No area of your life will be left out. Believe me. And they early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O family worship experience. Hear me, O family worship experience. Believe in the Lord your God. Everybody, the next line. So shall ye be established. Tell yourself, I believe in the Lord God. Say it again, I believe in the Lord God. This year, the first thing the Lord will want you to become is a believer. Lord, I believe. If you say to us that it's a year of establishment, I believe. If you have told us we will be established, I believe. The least it should be this year is a believer. I will not doubt your word. It's not a cliche when we come at the beginning of the year with words. No, it's not. It's not. These words are usually geographical. They are usually territorial. And then to ministries, depending on the season God is bringing them into. And if it has pleased the Lord to share with us this year his word, that is going to be our year of establishment, all that is required on your part is to believe. For God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Lord, I believe is my year of establishment. I will be established in finances. I will be established in, in relationship. I will be established in business. I will be established in my work with you. Second scripture. Jeremiah. Or oh, let's see Hebrews first. Hebrews 13 9. Hebrews 13 9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. Someone will tell you, Nigeria, ah, are you sure will be established this year? Do you not know that during Corona, that was the time some of you carried the kind of money you've never carried in your life? We heard that another COVID 2021, I believe COVID 21 is coming. Who cares? 
We heard that the economy is melting down. Who cares? And let me tell you this. The Lord told me this. That don't even pray that darkness should reduce because it will not reduce. Uh -uh, uh -uh. So that anywhere and anytime you see chaos, when you see that um, the darkness is becoming gross, it's just an opportunity for you to arise and shine. So don't even begin to pray and say, darkness, you must go. No, 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 no. Don't bind it because if you cast the darkness away, your rising becomes aborted. Because light is irrelevant where there is no darkness. So this year, the chaos might continue. There might be economic meltdown, but in the midst of it, certain men are rising that understand the economy of heaven. Hallelujah see the scripture. Don't be carried away with what people are saying. Things are hard. Things are not working. They might be hard on the other end, but on my end, I live in Goshen. I live in Canaan. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. Grace is anything that comes from God to us through Jesus. So this year, the Bible said, be established in grace. Let all the possibilities that are in God get to you through Jesus this year. And never limit God. It is possible. It is possible. Can I become a millionaire this year? Absolutely possible. Can I get married this year? Absolutely possible. Can I begin the business this year? Absolutely possible. It's going to be all round establishment. Believe it. All round. So if you are in ministry, get ready for an unusual expansion. This is not for pride. The Bible said the king is glorified in the multitude of people. The king's honor is when there are crowd up in a place. So the, the issue of having crowd gathered to worship the king is not to make name. No, no, no. This is kingdom advancement. The millions that are coming to you is not because God wants you to intimidate your neighbor. It's because God is entrusting into your hands the wealth of nations. For many of you, let me tell you what, why God is going to bless you this year. There are people he wants to bless, but he wants to use you as a channel. He knows that if the money gets to you, it will reach the people. So this year, get ready. All round establishment. The things you never believe could happen, they establish. Spiritually speaking, many of us will walk in strange dimensions. You, you heard the testimony of that dear woman that was um, testifying about her son, Obina. Obina, after service, come and meet me, right? Another laying of hands. Hallelujah. For many of you this year, you are the one God will use to truly turn the face of your family. And many of you, you are the stone that the builders have rejected. Ah, Something is about to happen and the stone the builders rejected is about to become the chief cornerstone. So that before the meeting begins, your dad will ask, where is my son? Um, you know there are certain meetings that are not complete until somebody is there. The establishing grace. So how many people will this happen to? Jeremiah 13, 19 and 20. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them. They shall not be few. I will glorify them. They shall not be small. Then look at the next verse. Their children also shall be as aforetime. And they are congregation, meaning everybody in this house, everyone listening to me, the congregation shall be established before me. Tell yourself, I will be established this year. Say it again, I will be established this year. And look at the look at the next line. And I will punish anyone that attempts to oppress you. So if the establishment is coming in your business and there is a neighbor around you that wants to intimidate you, the Bible says God will punish him for you. Ah, no, listen, we are not the ones saying God should punish them. God is the one saying anyone that attempts to intimidate you, anyone that attempts to oppress you, God will punish them. God still punish people. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So you are you are you are doing your little business and there is someone there intimidating you come and cheer up anyone that oppress you this year is your year of establishment in other words anyone that said this year you won't be established or this word of the lord will not find in your life they are in for something serious 
they are in for something their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish all not some all let anyone take your name to a harbor list this year and they will be they will be surprised I'm telling you they will be surprised do, do you know that lately I've been surprised to realize that even men of God are taking other men of God to have a list. No, no, but it's surprising. It's surprising. This man of God is doing well. And another man of God will carry <laughs> Jesus. A man of God. I, I'm wondering how that will be. You go and sit and say, see, um, have a list. I'm an evangelist. Do you understand? Have a list. I am an evangelist. I came so that we'll join forces and Come on now. Let them call your name and see what response they are. Anyone, habalists, demons, people around, anyone that attempt to oppress you. The Bible says, because it's your year of establishment, I, the Lord, will punish them. I, the Lord. So anything the Lord tells you to do this year, when God tells you go, don't start thinking, move. Because some of you, you have to hear this. Some of you can, can delay and say, are you sure it's the Lord? As soon as you hear the voice of God, don't start thinking because your logic can attempt to interfere. Move. Move. We will be established this year. So what is God saying to us? Or what does God mean by establishment? Number one. It means to be settled. In other words, it's our year of settlement. <laughs> it's your year of settlement. That's what God is saying. First Peter 5.10 is our year of settlement. Watch this. But the God of all grace, this is a prophetic service. As I teach, I will preach. God will be giving you words. Write it down and take it as God speaking directly to you. He said, but the God of all grace, how many grace? The grace for favor, the grace for increase, the grace for expansion, the grace for the miraculous, the grace for healing, the grace for increase in finances, the God of all grace. Not some grace. That is a grace and empowerment for every dimension of God you want. The grace for preservation. The grace for divine health that are some of us that don't take drugs is a grace. Is a grace. The grace for increase in business. So people look at you, you just started a business and then six months down the line you've opened another shop. You have another branch and they are wondering what's this thing for expansion? Is a grace for expansion. Is a grace for increase. You step into a territory, you are just arriving, and people come to you and tell you, see, I don't know why I like you, but I think I should do something for you. Grace. Not the God of you, grace. The God of all graces, if I, if I will say. The God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Jesus. After that you have suffered in 2020. Kabron de Kesilaka. After that, you went through some tough times in 2020. After that, people persecuted you in 2020. After that, so many things happened to your business in 2020. He said, I will make you perfect. And I will establish you. Strengthen you. I will do what? I will settle you. It looks like God has been on you. I will settle you. Tell yourself, it's my year of settlement. Say it again, it's my year of settlement. The word established there is, kat is, is katatizo in, 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 in Greek. And you know what it means? To restore to you. To restore to you. Or to make you turn in the right direction. So in case you've been playing the wrong path all this while, 2020, God is about to redirect your step towards the right path. Believe it. Thy rod and thy staff, they are about to comfort you, bring you direction. I don't know if what I'm doing is what I should do. I don't know if the path I'm planning is supposed to be the path. I don't know if I'm even working in my purpose or I'm just confused. This year is your year of precision. 
I'm telling you, God by his mercy will redirect you. Turn you towards the right direction. I will settle you. So you have suffered. 2020 looks like nobody remembered you. 2020 looked like your family was mocked all around. He said, after that you have suffered for a while, not forever. That suffering is not forever. And if the word of God has come to us this year, saying I will establish you, be a believer, I will establish you. May God truly establish you this year. And may every area of your life experience this establishment. May every area of your life be settled this year. There are many of us due for marriage. You are sitting and wondering. For many of us, you, you are already having the person. The problem is finance. That devil is a liar. God is about to settle you. And your marriage will happen in a grand style. It will happen in a grand style. In case you have been delayed in marriage, when you enter, you are not giving birth to one. God will settle you. He will restore to you. For many of you, the first issue you are having is that you will be carrying triplets. I will restore. I will settle you. And watch. If God give you three, share you have rested. What do you want again? Oh, you want to have a community? Some of you will add one. Some of you even want to have just one. If you want to have one, change your mind. Multiply. You don't multiply one. How do you multiply one? One multiplied by one. You don't do that. It's not scriptural. The Bible says multi. It has to be two to multiply. So two upward. Hallelujah. Settlement. You have been working little, little jobs here and there. And you are asking God, when will you give me a real job? Welcome to that year. Where, where one salary will equal your 12-month salary in 2020. No, believe it. Believe it. Why did God delay me all this while? Because he wanted to use your life to prove his almightiness. His almightiness. After that you have suffered. Nobody is denying you have not suffered. He said, but after that you have suffered for a while. Not forever, for a while. And I'm here to announce that that for a while is over. It's over. That while is over. It is over. And for some of you who are still students, but you know that there are people in your family, maybe your elder ones, your uncle, your parents, that are jobless in the name that is above all names. I bring the word of God into your family, and I decree that miracle jobs be created where they did not exist. Let jobs be created where they did not exist. Let them be created where they did not exist. I forbid it that you end this year jobless. Yeah, I forbid it. So it's your year of settlement. So what is God saying? Number two. He's saying I'm bringing you into a favorable and comfortable position among the great. I'm bringing you into a comfortable and favorable position among the great. That's what he's saying but I will establish you. Some of you this year are going to meet kings. I'm telling you, you will sit with people you never believe you can meet. 2020 happened and then maybe you trusted God for it. It didn't happen. Now you are in 2021. New possibilities. I will bring you to positions and comfortable positions where you will sit among the great Daniel 6.3 it pleased Dairos to set over the kingdom and 120 princes which should be over the whole kingdom. What is this? Do you know that when God wants to lift you, maybe in your office, or want to just he will make an organization have a demand for something that might not even be necessary. Why will you just please the king overnight to set up 120 princes and all of this? Why? Why? There was a man whose lifting was due. There was a man who needed to come into that position. And over these three pre presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the prince might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Verse 3, our place of interest. 
And then this Daniel, this Jonathan, put your name there. Uh, yeah, this Jonathan, there is something about this Jonathan. There is something about this Jonathan. This Jonathan was preferred. Preferred. We see other people, but we prefer you. Other people applied, but you are the one we want. You are a man of God. There is a grace for acceptance and preference. You are in a territory. People don't know why they like you. You might not be the best preacher, but there is something about you that people just like. Preference. It's not enough to be anointed. You must be accepted. Believe what I'm telling you. If you are anointed and you are not accepted, get ready for struggle in ministry. This Daniel, this Jonathan was preferred above the president and the princess. Because an excellent spirit, an excellent spirit was in him. And the king started thinking within himself to set him above the whole realm. In other words, if king now will come under Daniel, above the whole realm, this was the case with Joseph. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. But at thy wall shall all Egypt go out and come in. Preference. Preference. This is what God is saying to many of us this year. That in that little business you are doing, God is going to so empower you and you will sit among great people. You will sit among kings and overnight you'll be wondering, how did I get here? I'm telling you, many of you will wonder, how did I get here? I'm sitting with this person and this person, how? How? And can I tell you something? For many of you, you don't even have to meet five. You just have to meet one first. When you meet that one, that one will recommend you. Hope you know great people keep friends with great people. Failures don't make poor people or average people their friends. No, 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 no. So if God introduced you to one great person and that excellent spirit is upon you, already you met all of them. All of them. And in the name that is above all names, I decree and prophesy that may God bring you among the great in 2021. May God bring you among kings and princes in 2021. May you not lobby your way to meet them. May favor bring you there. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You will miss them. You will. Comfortable position. So if you were doing business and your turnover capital was just 80,000 or 200,000, at times you are scared on the next step to take. This year, get ready. It might be one million naira. So comfortably you are trading. Comfortably you, you can make all the turnovers and then you are not under pressure. Comfortable position. Comfortable. That's what the Lord is telling us this year. That's what he means by we establish you. He's saying, I'm bringing you among the great. I'm giving you a show you, you naturally didn't look qualified for. I'm giving it to you. It is my sheer gift. 2021, I feel like establishing somebody. And it's my choice to establish family worship experience. It's my choice to establish their congregation. So for everyone connected to the ministry, is your year of establishment. All round. All round. All round. Number three. What does it mean? It means to gain full recognition, acceptance, and relevance. Full recognition. You've been doing it in the hiding. God is about to set you on the hilltop. I'm telling you. The ministry has been hiding somewhere. The business has been hiding somewhere. God is about to bring you to limelight. Isaiah 61 to 4. Ah. This is related to the previous. You will sit among kings. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Is a, is, a, is a realm of relevance. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people. And can I can I can I tell you something? This year, don't feel bad for your lifting. I had to say this for some of you because some of you listen, let me tell you something. If you are not firm, you won't succeed in life. There are a lot of you that begin to pity people who are not rising. It's like, it's like your rising now is, is um, equal to doing something wrong. You are not doing anything wrong. 
when you were sitting down and listening to the word of God, where were they? When you were doing all the all night, where were they? When you were sowing all your seed, where were they? When you were casting your bread upon the waters, where were they? Don't feel guilty for being great. Don't feel bad for being great. It is your age. Because many of us are like that. You, 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 your compassion is more than compassion. It's now niceness. And I've told you before that niceness is not one of the gifts of the spirit. Neither is he a fruit of the spirit. You are too nice. You start feeling bad. Because God is lifting you. And those who were your equals are still back there. Come on. The Bible said time and chance. Time and chance happened to them all. If we are age mates, we are not grace mates. The God of all grace. We are not age mates. I mean grace mates. I'm telling you. It's not about when you were born. It's about what has been given to you. It's about what you now know. It's about the grace is backing you up. Never feel bad. Okay, we were classmates. See the way God is lifting him. I will lift him and then my classmates are there. Taking first in class, taking first in life. So calm down. down. You took first in class. It's not equal to taking first in life. He said, darkness shall cover the earth. Gross darkness. Everybody might be complaining. Everybody might be limited. Gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon the next verse. And then Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings to the brightness of your rising. Relevance. Too relevant. Then he said, lift up thy eyes round about and see. All they gather themselves together. And they come to thee. He said, your sons. You never knew you have sons far away. Your sons and your daughters shall come to be nursed at thy side. You never knew you had sons. This year, many of you will have the privilege to bless and mentor people. Please, do it sincerely and be very honest. You will have the privilege. It will happen. It will happen. How will I start mentoring people? I'm still growing myself. For him, much is given. And to whom little is given too. So if God is bringing people your way, it's because you know he has committed something to you. No matter how little it is, commit it to another. He said, these things you've learned, commit to faithful men. Let people learn from you. Let people be built. It will happen this year. Acceptance. You will enter certain places. It will look like you were the one they were waiting for. Acceptance. Relevance. Recognition. Your influence will expand this year. I saw that for family worship experience. It's like a multiplied influence. Multiplied. And believe me, it's not just for me as a person. It's not for the ministry. It's for everyone hearing me. Multiplied influence. Multiplied influence. People will begin to call you from places you least expect. How did they know about me? No. Multiplied. Number four. What does it mean to be established? What is God saying? It means to come into stability. Stability and firmness to be strengthened. Firmness. Stability. So enough of rising and falling. I bring you a word from God. Enough of rising and falling. Enough of making progress today and tomorrow you are backward. No, enough of it. Enough of having 200,000 in your account and then that money will finish and then for the next three, five months that kind of money does not come again. Enough of that. You are stepping into a realm of stability finances. Stability in the anointing. Because you see, the anointing too, you have to enter a realm of stability. Why will you enter one meeting and the power of God move and you enter another one and it's looking like you are not a man of God? Enough. Enough of that instability. Enter a realm of accuracy and precision where you know exactly which button to touch in the spirit and something begins to happen. Precision. Stability. Instead, your path should now be progressive. Say the path of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. You are a music minister. 
enter into a realm where you literally can hear the next song to sing. You are invited to a meeting. It's your constant realm. It's not something you struggle to gain. No, 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 no. As soon as you say, Father, something opens up in the realm of the Spirit. Stability. In your prayer life, stability. Your study life, stability. Ten chapter the Bible today, tomorrow, no chapter. No, it has to come to an end. Try fasting today till the next seven months. No, it has to come to an end. A realm of stability. That's what it means to be established. To be strengthened. To be empowered. To be firm. After that you've suffered for a while, you'll be perfected, strengthened, and established. So this is your year of stability. Say it is my year of stability. It's my year of stability. One more time, it's my year of stability. Yeah, finance is stable. Stable flow of income. Stable experiences of favor. Somebody favor you today. And favor does not come again. Oh, until two months later. Haba, haba, haba. Number five. The last. And then I'll close one of them. We are done. What does it mean to be established? It means to go beyond struggle into a realm of rest and evident result. To go beyond struggle. Beyond struggle. You are struggling with the business. Struggling with the ministry. Go beyond struggle into a realm of rest and evident not terrible result. Not terrible result undeniable result. We are not trying to think whether you are a businessman or a pastor. We don't want to be confused. We want to know when we see you. We want to know your results should so be obvious. So notable. Isaiah 60, 15. We know that once a while you were forsaken. It looked like you were hated by everybody. The Bible said, but you will become a joy of many generations. That's what's happening. Then verse 22 of Isaiah 60, our place of interest now. He said, and a little one will become a thousand. A little one. And a small one, a great nation. That's what's happening to you this year. You were little. It looked like you were struggling. God is about to bring increase. A little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. He said, I the Lord. I the Lord. Within 12 months, we'll hasten it. Within 12 months, we'll bring it to pass. I, the Lord. When will all of this thing happen? In 2021. I, the Lord. I, the Lord. Acts of the Apostle 4, 16. Let me be very fast. Acts 4, 16. When the people have done a mighty miracle, look at what the people said. What shall we do to this family worship experience? What shall we do to family worship experience? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them. Indeed a notable result. Notable expansion to all men in Jerusalem. And everybody read the next part. We cannot deny it. We cannot deny it. Listen. If people are still in doubt of whether you are established or not, you've not entered it yet. You will have to enter it to a point people cannot deny it. Imagine a woman that is pregnant. If it is two, three months and somebody tells you, like, this woman is pregnant, you can look and say, how did you know? You'll save your eye. Calm down. Five months, you might still doubt it. Seven months. No, no, no. Eight month, then maybe the ninth month, you still want somebody to tell you she's pregnant. Woman is pregnant and it's nine, nine months. She don't even need to announce to you. This is how she work. In other words, she's saying, you, you, you would have denied it in, 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 while it was two months. You denied it when it was three months. You denied it when it was... Um, you can't deny it now again. Evident result is the cure to argument. Evident. Evident. My business is growing. You need to see. Calm down. You don't have to shout. Calm down. 
many of us make too much noise. Calm down. In this year, 2021, let your results speak for you. Let your results speak for you. I am anointed. Calm down. Calm down. All of this is nonsense. Let your results speak for you. Um, uh, do you know God is blessing me financially? Calm down. We don't want to hear. We want to see the evidence around you. I see it. I feel it. Testimony everywhere around. I see it. I feel it. Oh, testimonies are everywhere around. Two more times, declare. I see it. I feel it. Oh, testimonies are everywhere around. One more time, say. I see it. Hey, I feel it. Testimonies. I'm in the middle of it. It's not outside. No, I'm in the middle of it. It's not happening to my neighbor and I'm left out. No. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. Yeah. It's happening. Alright, one more time. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of it. From the side, come on. I'm in the middle of it. I'm in the middle of it. Hey, I'm in the middle of it. I'm in the middle of it. Testimonies are everywhere around. I see it. I see it. Come on, use the eyes of the spirit. I feel it. Yes, the bodies are here. You don't have to touch it literally to prophesy. Come on. I see it. With the eyes of my spirit. I feel it. happening start feeling it start feeling it in the world you have to believe it they say seeing is believing in the kingdom believing is seeing we are directly opposite we don't see it to believe we believe then we see it i'm telling you for we call it those things that be not as though they were so they did not exist but in our mind we created the future already yeah if you are waiting for it to happen before you start singing what i'm singing now you might never sing no you might never sing see it see it <laughs> hallelujah 
So what's my part? Let me rush through this in 10 minutes and we pray. What's my part? What's God expecting me to do? Our first scripture, 2 Chronicles 20, 20. What God expecting me to do is my year of establishment. Is God expecting me to do anything? Number one, believe. As simple as that, believe. Believe God and believe his word this year, period. Is that what he said? Yes, I believe. He came to Mary. He said, you will conceive. Mary said, but I don't know a man. He said, no, 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 calm down. The Holy Ghost will come. And uh, the woman now said, be it unto me according to his word. That's all that God wants this year. Be, if God said establishment, I don't know how he's going to establish me, oh, but be it unto me according to his word. I believe. If God is going to use a human being, fine. If God is going to use a wicked man, fine. I read a scripture to you some weeks back about a man called Evil Merodach. That the Bible said the man's name was Evil. The last chapter of Jeremiah. Evil. And the Bible said one day he woke up and felt like favoring another person. Ah. The man's name is Evil Merodach. He was so evil to a point that his name become, became Evil Merodach. But the Bible said he woke up one day and felt like giving somebody favor. Meaning, if even evil people can favor, even evil people, it depends on who is standing before them, and it depends on what you are carrying on your head. The word of God is on you this year. Everywhere enter, enter with a healthy mindset. Nobody can send me away from here. Nobody. Nobody. Number two. This year ensure you are committed to doing something and doing it very well no matter how little do it and do it very well god want to find you doing something if you are a student read you are a business lady be committed to it don't be shabby here and there don't be superficial go deep into the whole thing psalms 90 verse 17 is your year of establishment Watch and see what God wants to establish. How you want to even establish this. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Say amen. And establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yeah. The work of our hands. Establish thou it. Establish the work of our hands. This year, God wants to have you do something. And that whatever your hand finds to do this year, do it very well. Do it very well. Be excellent at it. Do it very well. God wants to find you committed. You are, you are a music minister. Do it very well. You are a preacher. Prepare for every meeting very well. Come deliver your best. Don't say, okay, it's just 15 people that gather for our fellowship. Calm down. Calm down. Abiel, you say, when he was preaching to four people, he was preaching to four people as though he was preaching to 4,000 people. He will come prepared. And I remember when we were at the court, we did used to see our faces. You, imagine that. Our meeting usually starts 7 p.m. So before we start, the place is dark. We don't even know who came. Then I will come up and preach and be sweating outside. It didn't start today. The commitment has been there long ago. Long ago. He that is faithful in the little is faithful. Not will be faithful. He is faithful in much. Programmed in faithfulness is increased. Are you aware? If I check your life and I see that things are not growing, it's a proof you are not faithful. There is something about your faithfulness that is not complete. Programmed in faithfulness is increased. Ensure you are committed. Committed. I will share some things with us next week. But ensure you are committed. You are a fashion designer. If you give people 15th of February, don't miss it. If you know you won't keep it, don't even tell them. Keep to your, be a person of integrity. Do it and do it very well. You are a mechanic. Don't tell us something was bad and it was not. Otherwise, you might keep doing your mechanic around here. Nothing might take you to, hope you know even mechanics are in level. There are those that use system to discover where the fault is. There are those that will touch everything and hit your car everywhere. If you are not faithful, you might remain around here. But the word for you this year is that you should, you should progress from here to another level. So ensure you are doing it very well. Very well. You are invited for a administration somewhere. Don't just go carelessly. Prepare, if possible, fast. 
prepare, oh God, I'm going for this meeting. I know it's just, um, they told me it's just 50 people, but go there prepared because you might not know who is in that meeting. You might not know. You might not know. Do it very well. Number three, and then we get to four, the last. Give God no rest. Learn to trouble God and trouble Him well. Give God no rest. This year, 2021, give God no rest. Isaiah 62, verse 7. Give Him no rest. The year where the violent will take it by force. And then with the violent. <laughs> Everybody look up and read. One to read. And give him no rest. Uh huh. Till he establish. Until he make family worship a praise in the earth. Give him no rest. It has been prophesied my year of establishment. Yes. It does not mean you should cross your leg. Give God no rest. There are people that know how to hold God by his word. Every night they wake up, they carry the prophetic word. Shabrande Ketaya. The Lord told me it's my year of establishment. Nothing less than that. Jante Kroos Kataya. In Braska. I'm establishing finance. I'm establishing business. I'm establishing ministry. You shout it today. Shout it tomorrow and next. God will say, who is this person disturbing me? Give him no rest. Give him no rest. As a ministry, we want to give God rest this year. No, no, no. In prayer, in studying the word, give him no rest. No rest. There should be days you retreat not to pray. Huh? That retreat is not for prayer. Retreat is to search him for light. So you are alone for 12 hours, morning till evening. It was not prayer. You were searching for light. Lord, what are you saying? There are times I study the word of God and I can literally feel something happening to me. Has it happened to anybody? You don't only get impartation in prayer, you get in studying the word. There are dimensions of grace you enter into not through prayer but through light. Through light. Your eyes will be opened and all of a sudden, my God, is this in the word of God? Give God no rest. Come before him with, with legal argument from his word. Find out what God is saying. And in the place of prayer, like Peter, we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and prayer. If it is one hour, maybe last day you were praying 30 minutes, increase it to one hour and do it every day. As much as possible, constrain yourself every day. Every day. There's even an assignment for all of us as a ministry. Get ready very soon. Say amen. Let me tell you something. We will have to force everybody to become what God said they are. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you will have to become. The Bible said the least among us will become as strong as David. That scripture is for us. That even if naturally you don't want to be, I mean, to be successful, for being here, as we are becoming great, we will hold you. Tie your clothes on our own, we will drag you to greatness. You have to sit among the great. You have to. Give God no rest. Pray this year like never before. Study like never before. If it's giving, give like never before. Challenge yourself. If all your friends are people you are better than, look for someone that is better than you. Add them to the, to the, to the circle. At least two people that are better than you. People that you will meet and they will challenge you and make you feel like um, you are not even doing anything. This year is that year. Ensure. Ensure. Make new friends. These are some of the things I will share with you next week. I want to give us the, the rules of engagement for 2021 next week. No, there are rules of engagement. There are things you will have to do to become. If you have to make new friends, there is somebody up there you, you've admired. You know you are not at the same level. Find a way of connecting. Find a way of connecting. Genuine connection and follow passionately. Somebody you listen to for 30 minutes and you feel like um, God has not called you. You have to walk. Give God no rest. Give God no rest. Because if everybody around you is clapping for you as king, you are in the wrong place. If in that you are better than everybody, you are in the wrong place. Make up your mind this year. Make up your mind this year. 
your ministry is already large and you are having overflows, go to somewhere that will make you know that um, that your overflow and that your entire ministry is somebody's altar. Yeah, when I went to Glory Dome, Jesus, Shaka Teko Basata, and Broska. The first time I entered, I said, Lord, what's this? Have you called us? Oh, we called ourselves. What's this? Because that altar is almost the size of this church. And I'm saying, My God, say I thought we were doing well. You are not doing well until you see something new. I went to Goshen, the veranda in Goshen. You know that veranda, that central entrance. I stood at the other end of Dominion Bookshop. I went to buy books. And I'm looking at the other end. I said, Shit, this is the size of our church. <laughs> Lord, what did you do like this? If you are the king in that room, you are in the wrong room. I'm telling you, you are, you are more intelligent than everybody in that room. You are the one that is um, father of revelation in that room. Father of revelation. Each time they want to hear something, they'll just call you. Then you enter and say, so what are you talking about? So we're talking about the things that happened in the beginning. Say, ah, shut up. And I calm down, calm down. There's light coming, light, light, light. In the beginning, the head was without form and void. Tohu, tohu. Do you know that word? That's the Hebrew word for void. And you, you just stand there and confuse everybody. Then they clap and say, Father, Father, Father. Father of Rema, light. <laughs> you, you Greek word and Hebrew word to confuse everybody, then they will clap and say, Share we, we told you when he comes. Then they'll be finding you and say, It's okay, calm down. Calm down. Let's rest first. Calm down. Then when they talk of prayer, they say, I fear him or prayer. Fear him. You don't stand in one place like this. And before you know you are praying for 15 hours. <laughs> This year, look for somebody that does something better than you. Look for someone that has resolved more than you. And don't feel intimidated. Humble yourself to ask questions. Resort was not supposed to intimidate. It was supposed to inspire. I will say it again. Resort in the life of anyone was not supposed to intimidate. It was supposed to inspire as many as are willing to rise. Give God no rest this year. Pray like never before. Pray like never before. You wake up in the morning, you feel like not going out. You must not go out that day. You lock yourself. Saturday, Shabro de Ketila. Zetim Broska. This year has begun. I won't end like this. One day dry. Two days dry. Three days dry. Stop there at least. Huh? If you are going four days, add water and juice. Before they come and call us. <laughs> Three days dry is okay, but if you are going beyond it, <laughs> add juice. Because some of you now can be so dead, it's seven days dry. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Calm down. <laughs> you have to fast healthily. Huh? You want to do a one year fast. As soon as you are doing morning till evening, morning till evening, if you get somewhere, maybe the eight or nine months, you are standing alone in the morning and you are shaking. Break by three. You are still in the one year fast. Break by three. <laughs> but ensure you do something. A week should not pass and you are not fasting. Why? Why? Hallelujah. God, no rest. Finally. Believe your prophet and every prophetic word that comes from his mouth this year. This year. You don't know what? Before every of our service of the year, my father must release grace on me. He did that today. By the way, he sent his greetings to everybody. Yeah. He releases grace. I'm telling you. And I just go on my knees fast, fast grace, prophetic word. That's my man of God. Everything he says about my life, no devil fights it. Everything he says is God speaking to me. Yeah, is God speaking to me. This year, believe your man of God and then hold every prophetic word in very high esteem. I believe this is God speaking to me. I believe this is the word of God to me. I believe it. I believe it. I don't even joke with his messages. Text message, I don't joke with it. No, I don't play with it. Anytime I see his message, God's voice has arrived. I know God to say something. 
Even if it's just bless you, Jonathan. I know I'm supposed to step into another dimension. Prophetic word. Never trivialize it. By a prophet, he brought them out. And by a prophet, he took them. By a prophet, he even preserved them. By a prophet. This year, make up your mind. I believe my man of God. Because listen, let me even give you a scripture before I say this. First Thessalonians 3, 2. And I sent him out to us, our brother and minister of God and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Christ to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, to establish you so a man can be sent to your life to establish you. It is our year of establishment. How will God do it? He will send a man. He will send a man. But it's now your responsibility to either see the man as a brother, see him as a minister of God, or see him as a level, whatever dimension you can perceive in him, you'll receive. There is a dimension of Jonathan, my brother. There is a dimension of Jonathan, my friend. There is a dimension of Jonathan, my classmates. There is a dimension of Jonathan, my friend. There is a dimension of Jonathan, my prophet. And there is a dimension of Jonathan, the man of God. There are times I listen, like this message I'm, I'm preaching now. I'm going to get it myself. I will even download it. I don't have to collect it from media. I will go to the site, download it. As I'm listening, I'm saying amen. Amen. Because the Jonathan listening and the Jonathan speaking now are two different persons. Two different persons. At times I go on my knees as the man of God, Apostle Jonathan is prophesying. I'm in my room and on my, I'm on my knees. I'm saying amen. Lord, I believe. This is your word to me. Because can I tell you something? You know why you pray for yourself and you don't get healed? Because you don't honor what you carry. No, I'm helping some of you now. So people can come to you even when you are sick. Somebody can come to you sick. In your sick bed, you stretch forth your hand and say, eh, be healed in the name of Jesus. And that guy comes back and tells you I'm healed. And you are still struggling. You pray all the tongues. You are religious about it. You don't honor what you carry. A lot of us carry graces. It has healed others. It has blessed others. You wonder why it's not working for you. You don't believe what you carry. You don't honor what you carry. So this year, believe your man of God. You are blessed, I did. You are lifted, I believe it. It's my year of establishment. I believe it. I believe it. Every beginning of the year, Apart from the word spoken over me today, I will now create time within this January. Officially go and meet my prophet. Let hands be laid on my head. No, this head, lay hand, call me to another realm, another dimension. And hope you know by submission and privilege, it's also our year of victory. Yeah, it's our year of victory. So this year, whatever kept you down last year, you are about to triumph over it in victory i'm telling you you will be so victorious so victorious no limitations this year no limitations so i believe god i will give god no rest i will hold him by his word take it to the place of prayer contend i will be committed to doing something and i will be good at what i do and i will believe my man of god i will believe him he's not just my friend he can be friendly, but he's not my friend. He's not even my brother. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. A prophet can be received in the name of a brother. A prophet can be received in the name of a friend. A prophet can be received in the name of a colleague. A prophet can be received in the name of a neighbor. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Wherever my father is, I'm not an apostle. Huh? I've told you before I'm not a member of this church I'm your pastor I'm a member of Koinonia Yes, I'm a member of Koinonia That's why if, you, if I go there you see me sit down Listening, right 
I go to receive from my man of God. Never to hear these prophetic words. Never. 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 Where I am now, I'm telling you this, is a product of prophetic words. Something happened some days back. December, I went to bless my grandmother. I sat down, we discussed for a while. And I brought out some monies. I gave her. I blessed her. I told her, Mommy, oh yeah, Grandma. You saw that thing that happened here? When those guys were acting and where they saw it into that man of God's life and he removed the suit. I'm telling you, there's a, a dimension of grace you steer up by. When I gave my grandma that suit, guess what? I don't know when her hand, I don't know when her hand just went to my head like this. That was the first time. First time. I don't know when the hand just went to my And she started prophesying. No man born of a woman can kill you. What God has committed to your hand will not die. She started prophesying. This is not where you will end though. He said nations will look for you. White people will hear you. And I'm just I'm saying so this woman know that influence can also happen till it crosses beyond the borders of this nation. Prophetic words. Prophetic words. So if our influence starts spreading, you should know it's on account of what somebody has said. One time my father apostle told me, he said, Jonathan, you will only be on top. You can never come down. I said, my God, that's it. You will only be on top. You cannot come down. Found it. Prophetic words. Prophetic words never trivialize them i remember them like i remember my name i'm telling you there are times i i go to i receive prophetic word as soon as you finish praying when i step out i stand the face and write down all the prayers in i, I heard them i will write them all down he told me this my influence will multiply he said this one will happen when i come back i open it before the lord lord if it's your first servant confirm the word confirm the word of your servant and perform it you know many people don't even know how to do these things you have to be intentional while i preach and prophesy this evening some of you will just hear and say hey, that's fine amen some of you will write them down and so we get the message and you are hearing and writing down and you hold god by his word you don't have anything against god if you don't come with his word you should come with his word to him otherwise why are you coming When I saw our year of victory, I said, Lord, that's the word for us. That's the word for us. We will be established victorious. Victoriously. Victoriously. We're going to pray. Please give me your feet. Just two prayers tonight. You are outside, say amen. You are following, say louder, amen. You're going to pray first prayer. Oh God, thank you for your word. And I receive it into my life wholeheartedly. Thank you. Thank you for your word. It's my year of establishment. I receive it with the whole of my heart. Thank you. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice in gratitude. Lord, I'm grateful you sent your word. I'm grateful you sent your word. You have remembered this year. You will establish me in ministry. You will establish me in finances. Thank you for your word. I will be established in relationship with Destiny Helpers. A relationship. I will be established in my marriage. I will be established. Thank you for your word. Come and thank him. As though you know the word is already coming to pass. Thank you for your word. Rekete kete balana baya, e krondos kebe legate, e shara balata. Rekete pokos kebe legate ya. 
Hallelujah. Jeremiah, I mean Isaiah 55, 11. Very popular scripture. Let's read it. Let's check it. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing where to I send it. You're going to pray and say, Lord, your word will not come back to you. It will find expression in my life this year. I will be established. Let it find expression in my life. I will be established. Come on, family worship. Is this how you will pray? Let this word be established in my life. Let it be established. Let this word not go back to God. Let me find a special in my life. Let me be established. Let me be established. Let me be established. It's our year of establishment. Let me be established ministerially. Let me be established. Shokoto balada da 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 mesh. Rekete kaba shata balada da mesh. Erande kosko bela kete maya. Ekamba rakosko bela kete. Kaba rateke paski la tare. Hallelujah. Last prayer tonight. You will call the various areas of your life you are trusting God for establishment. Lord, establish me in ministry. Establish me in finance. Establish me in academics. Establish me in relationship. Establish me. Call the name of your business. Come and lift your voice and pray. Prophesy, declare. I'm established. Struggle is over. I'm establishing my health. I'm establishing my prayer life. I'm establishing my study life. I'm establishing business. I'm establishing my job. I'm establishing my career. I'm establishing ministry. I'm established all round. I'm establishing finances. I'm established. The Lord just laid this in my heart that we should pray one more. You're going to pray and say, Lord, this year, I partner with angels. I partner with the Holy Ghost. I partner with men. And I enter into my establishment. I will not be delayed. I will not be stranded. If angels will have to carry me to another I mean, territory, let them carry me. Let them transport me. Let them bring destiny help us. Let them bring increase. I partner with angels. I partner with the Holy Ghost. I am not alone. Pray. I am not alone. I'm in partnership. The Spirit of God is upon me. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm in partnership. I release. Come and pray. The sound of the heavens. Sound to creation. Sound to finances. 
Shekinah Rishi. Tonight we release the sound of the heavens. Stand to your prayer life. Stand to your story life. Shekinah Rishi. You are established all around. I release tonight the sound of the heavens. Sound to your business. Sound to your offices. Shekinah I receive. I release sound from the heavens. Sound to creation. Hebrews 13 9, the establishing grace. I therefore decree that this year 2020, you will be establishing grace. You will be establishing grace. You will be establishing grace. Every possibility in the Christ will find expression in your life. You will lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 1 verse 11. He said you will be establishing your giftings. May the gift of God upon your life be established this year. May the giftings of God upon your life be established this year. Samuel was a prophet in the book of 1 Samuel 3. I decree over your life verse 20. That you will be establishing your calling. You will be establishing your assignment. You will be establishing your career. You will be establishing your finances. For those of you who have found out your purpose, you will be establishing your purpose. Those who are yet to find it, in 2021, you will find your purpose. You will find your assignment. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As of the Apostle 16, 5, he said you will be established in faith and in number. I decree in the name of Jesus, you will be establishing your faith. And to those who are in business, you will increase in number. You will increase in number. You will increase in ministry. You will not be limited. Your business will increase. Your business will expand. Your finances will expand. Your streams of income will be multiplied. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Isaiah 54 and verse 14. You will be established in righteousness. May your work with God rise to another level this year. And may you be established in righteousness. You will be established in righteousness. He said, righteousness shall thou be established. This year, enough of rising and coming down spiritually. Enough of being on fire today and tomorrow you are cold. May you be established this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
First Peter, Second Peter, one twelve. He said you will be established in truth. May you be established in the word of God. May you be established in the truth of God's word. May the principles of God's word open up to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. When you read, you will understand. And the truth Solomon was settled and established. First Chronicles seventeen fourteen. I decree that this year you will be settled. You will be established. You will be settled. Whatever is due to you, I pray that in 2021, let it be released to you. Let it be released to your family. Let it be released to your parents. Let it be released to your loved ones. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 1 Kings 2.46 Baratoska. There are certain people that must die for certain people to be established. Believe it. So the king commanded Binea, the son of Jehoada, which went out and fell upon him, and he died. And the kingdom was established in the hands of Solomon. The throne of Solomon was still shaky until someone died. It was still shaky. It was not established until someone died. It could be in your territory. It could be in neighborhood. It could be in your family. It could be in your travel line or your bloodline. Somebody has become a principality that will not allow you rise. That will not allow you become established. In the name of Jesus, if I be a man of God, called of God, in 2021, whoever needs to be led to rest, I invoke the grace of God upon my father. Apostle Joshua Salman and I decree that let anyone that is supposed to die be led to rest in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus listen it's not our prayer for people to die but there are people that have sworn that over their dead body meaning they don't want to repent it's like the assignment is you not succeeding come on now who said a thing and it coming to pass when the lord has not spoken i decree that whoever has sworn with their life indeed they give way for you to be established may they be led to rest for you to be established may they be led to rest for you to be established it could be in ministry it could be in finances maybe there is a cost in your bloodline following everybody whatever you lay hand to do doesn't just work and you are aware it's like this thing is not natural it's like there is a cause come on now there is a grace that prevails over every situation he said and the god of all graces will establish you in the name of jesus i declare that let the god of all graces establish you and let that strong man be led to rest let that strong man be led to rest in the name of the Lord Jesus. 2021. May God put people under pressure to bless you. May God put under pressure to prosper you. May God put men under pressure to support the work of your hands. You will not be stranded this year. You will not be stranded this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The enemy must have vowed over some lives and families that nothing good will happen. Listen carefully. You will take them by surprise. Your greatness will take them by surprise. Your expansion will take them by surprise. Your increase will take them by surprise. Listen, I like surprises. When we built this hall, it took us nine months. Nine months. When some people passed here after that period, it was like, ah, what happened? What happened? And do you know what? When we were roofing this place, the roof fell. The woodwork was halfway. It fell and destroyed everything. We had to buy extra. And people thought the work was going to stop. When I came the following morning, my mom was crying. People were crying. I said, why are you crying? Cheer up. I told the guys, dismantle it and continue work. Dismantle it and continue work. There is no point to cry. God, we have been trained well. I'm telling you, we've been trained well. Not, not everything makes us cry. Listen, in the name of Jesus, your expansion this year will take your enemies by surprise. Your lifting this year will take your enemies by surprise. Your lifting will take your enemies by surprise. 
Mateko Sotaya. Let me tell you this. I, I didn't plan to share it, but let me share it with you. When we are about buying this land on the overflow, it's like our enemies didn't know we are about buying it. When we came, the man that sold it called me. He said, sir, somebody came to me and told me, is it that church that bought it? He said, yes. He said, I want to pay more. Collect it from them. And the man told him, I know I'm a Muslim, but I'm a man of integrity. They have paid already, and there's nothing that can be done about it. This is how your success will take them by surprise. They are yet thinking you have gone ahead. They are yet strategizing you've gone ahead. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, there is a grace in this house for increase and expansion. It's natural. There is a grace. There is no week you come here and there are no new people. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every week in 2021, may new things happen to you. May new things happen to you. May new things happen to you. May good things happen to you. We have seen influence in 2020. I'm telling you, people kept calling from various parts of the world. We have thousands following the online radio. Listen, new things are happening here and our influence is spreading in, in more than 12 nations. Listen carefully. In the name of Jesus, I decree that in 2021, may your influence spread like wildfire. May your influence spread like wildfire. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The word establishment is not a decoration. It's not even a cliche. Between now and three months, may your life turn around like the difference between night and day. Let it turn around like the difference between night and day. No man born of a woman can stop you. No man born of a woman can limit you. I prophesied earlier that young people are going to buy land. They are going to own houses. They are going to drive their cars. In this city, may that world reality. May that world be your reality. In the city where you are listening from, may that world be your reality. One more prayer. I want to release a grace now. The same grace that is on me for favor. Just help them. The same grace that is on me for the miraculous. The same grace that is on me for increase in ministry. The same dimension of grace that is on me that brings me into passion for God, love for God, intimacy with the Holy Spirit. This year I refuse to rise alone. May that same grace come upon you right now. Such as I have, I give you right now. Such as I have, I give you right now. Such as I have, I give you right now. Such as I have, I give you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May your passion for the Holy Spirit. May your oneness with the Holy Ghost be unexplainable. Let it be unexplainable. Let it be unexplainable. Let it be unexplainable. Let it be unexplainable. Lift your hands inside outside. The Lord is telling me that there is a dimension of passion that can be imparted. Passion. You won't know what drives you for God. You won't know. And by God's grace, that grace, he has given me a little. I see it in my father. It is on me at least a little. Tonight, little hands, inside, outside. You are following from any part of the world. Just lift your hands and be still. Lord, such as I have. Such as I have. You are inside. You are outside. Such as I have. Just help them, such as I have. Such as I have. Such as I have. Such as I have. 
I'm telling you, God will do wonders with you, such as I have. This year, ah, you will become a mystery, unexplainable, such as I have. You are a minister, you are a businessman, you are a student, such as I have. I literally feel fire on my hand, such as I have. At the count of three, oh God, I stretch forth my hand right now. Release it on your sons and daughters, inside and outside. At the count of three, one, two, shate koprate ketila. And now three, repeat. Receive it, it's an impartation. Receive it, an impartation of passion. An impartation of grace. An impartation of passion. Shate koprate ketila. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may your love and passion for God this year be on the rise. May it be on the rise. May it never go down. May it never go down. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you told us it's our year of establishment. So shall it be. You will be establishing finances. You will be establishing your relationship. You will be establishing your career. You will be establishing your business. You will be establishing your family. You will be establishing everything you lay your hand to do. You will never go backward. You will never be stranded. Quarter to shame, God will step into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in 2021, you will surprise your enemies. In 2021, you will expand. In 2021, you will increase. In 2021, you will give to nations. In 2021, you will help people. In 2021, your life will be a blessing. In 2021, you will lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. In 2021, you will walk in the fullness of your gift. In 2021, you will walk in the fullness of your calling. In 2021, you will build houses. In 2021, you will ride cars. In 2021, you will give what you've never given before. In 2021, may your barn be filled with plenty. May you not be empty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands, give him praise. Lift your hands, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him come. Hold. Lift your two hands. In the glory, let the Lord in mass his glory. And the honor. I see miracles step into it now. Signs and wonders in the glory and the honor. I see miracles. I see miracles. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Lord. prosperity and wealth packages 21 there are some of you unexplainable 21 some of them are outside 21 an anointing an anointing for prosperity an anointing ah, this year 
you will see some people an anointing an anointing for wealth for prosperity an anointing i'm seeing ministries that will step into new dimensions of ease financially new dimension just help them under the anointing new dimensions new dimensions if you get this message and you are listening listen to it keenly i pray that your hands are commanded to prosper your hands are commanded to prosper your hands are commanded to do well in the name of the lord jesus while everybody remains standing, deleted movement, you know you are not born again. Whether you are inside or you are outside or you are following us online, wherever you are, while everybody stands to honor you, wherever you are, you won't be the last person to come out. The year is beginning and you have to begin with the Lord. Can you surrender your totality to him tonight, wherever you are, inside, outside? I want to run forward. Come quickly. I want to pray for you. This meeting is not complete without giving you this opportunity. Come. Come. God bless you, my sister, my brother. You are coming from outside? Come. You are coming from inside? Come. Come. Please let movement be limited except for the counseling department. Please come quickly. Come. God bless you, my brother. While I'm talking, the Lord is talking to your heart. I'm telling you, just win this battle. Surrender to me today. And let me turn your life around. You can even hear the voice of God. As he's talking to you, don't stay back. You don't have to. That's God talking to your heart. I'm glad that already you can hear his voice. It means you are not far from him. Trust me, you are not very far from him. That you can hear him talk to you as I speak now. It's not my voice. You are hearing a voice from deep within you telling you to come out. Please come. You are from outside. We can wait. Because of you, we are not in haste. Come. Keep coming. I can see you come from outside. Create space for them. Come quickly. Come, God bless you. In the glory and the honor. God bless you, my brothers. Bless you, my sisters. I'm still waiting. The Lord is talking to your heart. Don't be the last to come. It can be far from the overflow, but come, we are waiting. I see miracles. Signs and wonders. If you have to escort a friend, come. If you have to come, maybe you came with your friend and you know he's feeling ashamed or something. Hold his hand and come with him. It's a declaration of faith. Can you pray after me? Say, oh God. Say it from the depth of your heart. Oh God. I come to you tonight. I confess all my sins. I ask for mercy. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. And I believe he's a son of God. I receive in heart this evening by faith eternal life. And I'm born again. Thank you for saving me. Amen. And amen. Don't be ashamed of your tears. I pray for you now. Father, I stretch forth my hand towards your sons and daughters. I decree that the name of the Lord be named upon them. Satan loses claims over your life. And I decree that may you be established in grace. May you be planted in this grace. No more going back. You will start with the Lord from today. And by the end of this year, you will be standing strong. In the next 10 years to come, you are standing strong. In 30 years, you are standing strong. May you be established in Christ. In the name of Jesus, it is well with you and you are preserved. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We love you and God bless you. Please, can you just take this way? The usher standing there is going to direct you. God bless you. Go with them. Just take this way. Take this way. Go with her. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We are honored that you are responding to the Lord today. God bless you. What an honor. God bless you. 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 Amen. God will welcome our newcomers later. But let me just do this. 
God bless you. Please be seated. Be seated. Amen. 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 All right. Um, listen to me. You can hear me outside. Say amen. Say it louder. Amen. All right. Um, let me just pass this announcement quickly and then do this and we we'll close. Um, we are a growing ministry and we've been doing so much and I want to appreciate those of you who were a blessing to us last year. You blessed the ministry. You blessed us financially to help us do the things we were able to do. So we know Corona affected us, um, especially around partners, but um, a lot of us still did well. And um, if for any reason you were not able to finish up your partnership because it was supposed to be 12 months, um, I stand by the authority conferred on me, and I declare that you are forgiven. Amen. Amen. Except if you are so strongly led in your spirit to finish it, that's fine. Otherwise, um, we are starting it fresh again, so you can join the fresh one, and then um, let's trust God to help us. This year, let me just give us a few things we plan to do. Um, we plan to buy the land that is upward there. Amen. Already, they are looking for us. We are not the one looking for them. They are looking for us. And guess what? I had a vision. I saw our next auditorium on that land. I saw it. It was so massive. I was thinking we're going to destroy this, but there's no need. This will be overflow tent. Then we'll find a big to put it here. The size of this. Is that fine? When they are here, they are seeing it from here. And then we will be in the... We will be in the... So those who are coming after us who occupy this, this is still going to be our overflow tent because that massive auditorium I saw in my vision was up there. And um, when we buy the land next week, we plan to start working on it 2022. Is that possible? It is. And then, you know, Kefi, in Kefi we are still using a hall we rent, um, a massive one at that. But um, in 2021, we plan to get a place in Kefi, not just get a place, also build a tent. Yes. Not just get a place, but erect a tent. How I many of you know this white Mark Q tent? That's what we plan to have in Kefi because, in fact, even that place is going to be that massive white um, tent because we're a growing ministry. We can't keep doing block work for now. Maybe we want to do a block work, it will be glory dome. <laughs> To the glory dome. Amen. So we have a lot of projects we have at hand. We are resuming Kefi and we have to buy a um, new set of equipment to be able to match up with the increase of Kefi. And we are projecting 4 million naira between now and February. Say amen. amen. It's also very possible. Because, because of the increase that came to Massacre, how many of you know that the year of our multiplied results, it was the following year we saw the multiplied result. Meaning the team of that year don't end with that year. It only prepares you for the following year. Many of you didn't even shine last year. Get ready. I'm telling you, you were prepared for shining last year. This year, you are going to shine. Say amen. So you will be shining and getting established at the same time. Hallelujah. So we multiplied last year. Um, yeah. And we have to pack every equipment from Kefi to bring to this place to be able to feed the crowd outside. So as we're going back to Kefi, because schools are resuming and all of these, we have to buy virtually everything. And again, this year, we are soliciting to have people who partner with us again for 12 months. Soliciting to have companies that partner with us, um, businesses that partner with us. It's not a dashi. It's not contribution. You are not coming to have it. You'll have it here on earth and in heaven. Say amen. Those who partnered last year, we had amazing testimony. A dear lady that had land and so many other persons buying things and starting up structures and ventures. Again this year, whether you are following online from any part of the world or within Nigeria, or you are seated in this environment, or you are outside, um, we want to employ you to partner with us as we have a lot of things to do. This is kingdom advancement. And um, I know you are ready to do that again this year. Are you ready? You've been committing your finances to us and God has been helping us to manage it well. Are we trying? We are trying. We are trying. We have been able to do all the things um, God helped us to do this year. And this is fine too. Is it fine? 
Should we do that all around the hall? Of you like enjoyment. <laughs> you like enjoyment. All right, this is fine. We plan to rock the entire place. That's also part of the plan. We have a lot to do this year. So in view of this, we are soliciting for partners. And if you want to partner with us this year again, or you've not done it before, on monthly basis, 10,000 naira and above, please stand up quickly. We're going to do this within 10 minutes or 15 minutes and we say the grace. Wherever you are, you are in that category, just stand quickly. If you are, those of you outside, come in. Come in now. You can come in now. It has rich finances, but we will have to do this. So you are doing that, just stand quickly. Wherever you are, monthly, 10,000 and above, stand up. God bless you. You are not doing it, or you are not part of it, sit down. Even if you are an usher, sit. Let's have those standing. Let's know that this is purely what it is for. So standing, keep standing. God bless you. Keep standing. Keep standing. Keep standing. Do we have people outside? Let's have the camera outside. Do we have people outside? You are partnering. It could be on behalf of your business, your company. You want to be a kingdom financier. Join us quickly. Join us quickly. We need at least 100 people to do this on a monthly basis. I know it's possible. Keep standing. All right. Can we have a piece of paper for them to just write their names? Just do that quickly. God bless you. Keep standing if you are joining us. Outside. Can we see people outside? Let's see the camera outside. Are there people outside? Keep standing. Keep standing. You are following online. All you might have to do is to get the ministry's account number and be part of this. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord is talking to you to join. Oh, yeah, stand. Finally, stand. Before we go to the next category. You are hearing the voice of the Lord to stand. Stand. It could be by faith. Stand. It could truly be by faith. Stand. God bless you. God bless you. We are so grateful. I'm going to pray with you after now. All right, please can you be seated? I hope you've gotten the papers, whether outside. Some of you might want to just do it quietly. You don't want to. All right, 5,000 naira monthly. Just stand quickly. I think we should have a lot of people in this category. Just stand quickly. 5,000 naira monthly. Stand quickly. God bless you. 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 Me, I'm part of the first category. I'm with you. That we, we are the one above. Some of you can do above. Don't do less. Keep standing. Keep standing. God bless you. 5,000 naira and above. You want to be established? Giving is part of it. Eh? And you know I don't have anything for preaching on giving. Maybe I should invite a guest speaker. Dr. Mike Murdoch. I'm telling you, some of you will give you a last. You are not doing now because that, that dimension I've not crystallized in my life. It will soon crystallize. Say amen. Where some of you go and carry your fridge and you come in like this. <laughs> he said, what happened? He said, no, the Lord have touched me. We will bring. So please keep standing. 5,000. Do we have more people? Keep standing. The second level of partnership is prayer partnership. Say amen. Say amen. You're going to partner with us in prayer, but this one is for everybody. Everybody, so long as you're in this house. If we say more now, you're not giving us prayer. Say amen. You must pray. And this is going to be the order of the prayer. It's going to happen every night. Everybody say every night. Say it again, every night. From 11.30 p.m. 12.30 p.m. Every night. Every night. Everyone will pray. This year, you have to be on fire for God. And the prayer is not strictly you. It's kingdom advancement prayer. Say amen. Say amen to that. So, is that? Okay. 12.30 a.m. now. Yes. From p.m. into a.m. Yes. So, even those who don't pray at night, you will start this year. Say amen. Yes. For many of you, this is where your revival is starting from. Yeah, this is where it's starting from. So when you wake up, you will worship the Lord, thank God, and pray thanksgiving prayer for 30 minutes. As soon as it's 12, you start praying and interceding for the land, intercede for your family, intercede for this ministry, intercede for other ministries, intercede for the body of Christ. Do you understand? 
That's the scope of the prayer. We won't be giving you prayer point every but this is what you do. You know what intercession means. You are praying for people, not you. Use other prayer time to pray for yourself. Those who are in partnership, the first financial partnership, any of the categories, just stand. I want to pray for you. Stand. Inside, outside, stand. You are not giving it to anybody. You are sending it to the ministry's accounts. My father prayed a prayer for me some months back. And it happened like magic. Here's the prayer. May you enter into the realm of ceaseless financial flow. And it worked. It started working. It's working like crazy. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Enter into a realm of ceaseless flow. Your ministry, your business, your finances. May you never know a better last year. May you never know a better last year. From now on, you won't struggle to have money come into your account. And I decree and declare, you will have more and you will do more. You will be established financially. This year, you won't see shame and you won't be stranded. In Jesus' name. We hope you've been blessed by this message. Keep walking in grace. For additional information, follow us on our Facebook page. Or you could visit us on our Telegram page, Family Worship Experience International.